here my lovelies so today what I'm going to be doing is a Q&A this has been a highly requested video and what I'm going to be doing is going through my DMs on Instagram Twitter and I'm going to be answering guys the questions that you guys have for me so without further ado let's get started so today I have my trusty iPad just kidding don't judge me but anyways so let me look through my DMs so I can see what y'all want to know about me like okay so the first question is if you had one billion dollars what would you do with it and why well I would definitely buy a house a car a house for my mom and dad a house for my brother and my sister and cars for them too and the rest I would invest in a business and donate to charity okay this one's a good question and it's from Brittany yeah she said hey girl hey bitch my question is do you consider being transgender a flaw or just something that makes you unique obviously unique because I mean before when I first started transitioning I looked at my transition as a flaw in a way I wasn't very comfortable you know? I, wasn't, I was in like a mindset of oh I won't be accepted oh this this and this just all that so you know I did look at it as a flaw at first but as I started going more into my transition I do realize that it's just a unique trait in me you know this isn't what makes me who I am like I'm a woman at the end of the day that's just a little bit extra you know what I mean so I would definitely look at it as a unique trait the next question is from underscore Kalyan Kali Andrea and she said, how do people treat you in school? Hmm. I would say majority of them treat me with respect, you know. A lot of them are cool with me. Well, people think I'm mean, but I'm really outgoing and really cool at the end of the day. Like, if y'all if know me personally, y'all know I'm just a cool ass bitch. In terms of men, I would have to say, or little boys, I would have to say, hmm. This is a follow-up question. It says, do people think you're social media famous at school? And what do you think What do you think they think of you as a transgender person? Well, a lot of the times they think I'm just, um, like being social media famous, it's like I feel like I'm always on watch. I feel like people are just constantly looking at me in my every move. Overall, I do have like a lot of um, supporters in my school, you know, who want to take pictures of me and stuff. So that's really cool. I like that. And what do they think of you as a transgender person? Um... They think of it as such a taboo thing to where they're so interested in it that they just ask so many questions. And I'm just like, girl, it's not that difficult. Like, I used to be a boy, okay. Let me fucking live, shit. The next question says, is it hard dating being transgender? Yes. I'm going to be brutally honest with y'all. Yes, it is hard dating as a transgender woman. Because you have, like I said, niggas are in different categories. You have one category, and those are the um, the ones that fetish the fetish, 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 fetishize us. That fetish us? I don't know. You have those ones that fetishize us to where they only want us for sex. You know, they just want us as... A physical desire you know just you know they want to fuck you and then be done with you you know then you have those men who want to fuck with you on that kind of level but still want to be hidden you know still want to hide you don't want to show you off you know you have those men and this is really rare to where like they just don't give a fuck they love you for you they don't just want sex from you that's rare so far I dealt with so many niggas that had girlfriends the whole time and I had no idea about it. Yes, it happens all the fucking time. Next question. Okay, this is by Baby Girl Maya. And she says, Would you ever go both ways, like dating boys and girls? Um, honestly. For me, it's complicated. It's like, I don't like feminine females. I like studs. Like, I would date a stud. But I like men more. So, I guess you could say, yeah. Alright, the next question is, hey, Sonis, I love you so much. My question is, 
Had you wear any other color for the rest of your life, what would it be? It would be pink because every time I wear pink, I'll be in the best mood ever. And plus, I think pink looks good on me, so. And another question is, would you rather have been born a girl or a boy in transitions? I would rather be born a girl. It would just save so much stress, so much hatred. It would just save so much. But I am proud in the life that I live in and what I have become. So I'm definitely proud of that. So do you have any friends that support you during this journey? And did you lose any friends during this journey? Of course, I have friends that support me. And did I lose friends? I would have to say a couple of friends. And it's not just for being um, transgender. It's also for, you know, getting that clout. I have lost some friends due to that. I don't know why. It's crazy, but that's life, you know. People just hate on your success and hate what you're doing in life. Because they're not doing it, so they hate want to hate on you. The next question is, would you want to be a mom? And how many kids would you want? Um, Personally, I don't like kids. I don't think me and kids get along. But... If I did get kids, I would want about maybe like three. That's probably the most I'm going to. I really want boys because I've always wanted to be one of those little football moms, you know, that be taken to their football games and stuff like that, you know. Go son. I think that's so cute. The next question is, how does it feel to be beautiful? You know, it's just, it's just so annoying, you know, like just being called pretty, gorgeous, vivacious, beautiful, smart, intelligent, amazing, gorgeous, pretty, beautiful. You know, I'm worth so much more than that. So it's very hard being beautiful. Do better. Peasant. The next question is, what is your favorite TV show? Um, Love and Hip Hop, Real Housewives of Atlanta, anything with drama, because I'm a messy bitch that lives for drama. The next question is, would you date a girl that transitioned into a man? Basically, would you date a transgender male? And the answer to that is yes, I would definitely date a transgender male. I think that's also a positive aspect because they know exactly what you're going through. They know what it's like. So I feel like you guys can bond over that on a spiritual level. So I would definitely date one. The next question is, hey baby, I love you so much. Love you too. And my question is, are you getting any surgeries yet? Boobs or bottom surgery? My business. If you're not talking to me, then you don't need to know, like, don't trip. The next question is, have you had sex with a guy? Alright guys, that is it for today's YouTube video. Don't forget to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. And comment down below what video you guys would like to see next. And I'll get back to you guys on that. Bye, lovelies.